Okay, so I've allowed this to dry, and I wanted to show you this figure, of course, the one that we've been working on, and the techniques that we did to at least start to achieve that AOR camouflage. Again, it's not, it's not rocket science. It's just learning how to control your brush, create different shapes, L shapes, reverse shapes, uh, just small, subtle lines, small little dots, to achieve, in the end, this. Um, I'm pretty happy with how that camouflage came out. Let me see if I can get focus more. There you go. See, you've got all the little dots that I that I talked about, you know, right here, all that. There's also a subtlety. There's a change in shading between this color and the color of the helmet. There's mid-tone here between, uh, there's a difference, it's darker here versus lighter on the edge of that pocket. Same technique I applied on the weapon itself. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in here. Yep, there you go. So you can see the just the little dots um, that, that I applied. There's again, a good example of the pants leg. You know, again, this isn't going to win any competitions. That's not its purpose. Its purpose is to have a great looking figure painted and uh, have them look good on the table so that you can play. I, I don't have the time anymore to paint for competitions or anything. So it's just now about getting the figure to be as best as I can get it to be and for me to be happy. That's the important thing. That's the lesson I had to learn for painting, is that develop a style that works best for me uh, and what, you know, how I want it to look on my table and then just be happy about it. So I hope this has helped. I know this is not the, the most professional video. Um, however, uh, I am learning as I go. And again, my tactical gnome is here. Always watching what I'm doing, keeping me on track. Uh, so I hope you guys like this. Feel free to send me a message on Facebook, uh, Tim Spakowski. Uh, you can also email me at tim at kingshobbiesandgames.com if you have any questions. Uh, and I'll be more than happy to help you out with anything I can do.